What's up guys and welcome back to some more Cooking Companions. As you guys know, it's been a little while since we've hopped on this game. Actually, close to, I think, five or six months at this point. But a new DLC was just released yesterday and you guys already know, we had to hop on this and give it a go. I'm very excited to be hopping into this game because you guys know, we love these story type games on this channel. It's always a good time to sit down, relax, and just, you know, kind of watch a visual novel in a way. And this is a very scary one at that. If you guys remember, these vegetables are hiding a very dark secret. People are getting eaten alive and some other very horrifying things are happening. We're going to be hopping into the brand new DLC and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Before we hop into that, in the comment section down below, drop your favorite vegetable emoji, okay? Find one and let's get a ton of vegetable emojis in the comment section down below. I'm going to be hiring some comments that do. And let me know in the comment section down below why you're leaving some emojis, what time you're currently watching this video, because this is definitely going to be a later night upload. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into a new game and begin. So we have the brand new Chompets Origins. Now, if you guys are wondering why I didn't finish off my old playthrough, my save got deleted whenever my channel got hacked. I had to like reset my whole computer and for whatever reason, that got rid of that save file. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to hop right into the origins though. I don't think we're gonna really miss much though. Right, Reina, Reina, check it out. A cabin all the way out here. What about that psychopath? We lost him a few kilometers ago, don't worry. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Hello, hello. Come on, Reina, Reina, I can't say that. Sun is setting, let's take shelter here, just for the night. You sure that's a good idea, Selena? Of course. Front door has a few different ways to lock it. Should keep him at bay if he shows up. Hope there's some snacks in here. Bollock. I guess we don't have a good choice. We'll head back to Zacopane in the morning. Don't worry about it. It's just for one night. Wait, is that the cabin? Is that the... You decided to join up with your friends inside. Is that the cabin that we all know of? Or... Did you lock the door? All set. Could you see him out the window? No, he probably went back to town. Is anyone here? No, yelled and stomped around, nothing. Hmm, this cabin is abandoned. Let's stay here for the night. What? Relax, it's gonna be freezing outside tonight, so it's either him or us. Let's avoid making a fire. I don't want him to see us in the, in the distance. N n no fire? There's blankets in the bedroom. We'll be fine, Oleg. This cabin chills me to the bones. We'll need him. Hmm. Whenever Bollock gets nervous, he tells a joke to break the tension. Got one of Razzle's classics for you. What do you call a snowman's kids? Children. <laughs> Let's split up and search the cabin. See if you can find any food for us to eat tonight. I'll take the bedroom. Leave the living room to me. Rena, I'll search the kitchen. No need to help me. You sure? Of course, I know exactly where to look first. I got the Zacopane Junior Baker Award, remember? Selena. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's move out. Let's move out. Tutorial. Help the team by searching the cabin for supplies. Your bond with Selena, Oleg, and, and Bollock is unbreakable. Focus on exploring the cabin. You only get one choice, so choose wisely. Who do you want to help out first? All right, let's do... Uh, let's do Selena in the kitchen. Why not? I feel like the kitchen's a nice place to be. Oh my god, dude. This, it has to be the same cabin, right? Let me help, Selena. Only if you insist. What area do you want to search first? All right, let's do... Oh, you know what we got to do? Wait, inside the cauldron and oven. Stop searching. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, let's do the countertops. Oh, wow. This mortar and pestle has got a lot of use. What's that? Mortar and pestle? It's a cooking tool. Used to grind herbs, plants, and seeds. You haven't seen one of these? No. Let's go over to Oleg's house sometime. His grandma has one. Sounds good. All right, so now we can do inside the cauldron and oven. You search inside the cauldron first. Find anything? Just some disgusting slop at the bottom. <laughs> this cauldron is almost as big and, and heavy as your coat. Selena! <laughs> You're covered for fall and winter now. Saves my family a trip to Zacopane Market. Right? All right, so let's stop searching in the kitchen because I think we're done, right? Let's stop searching it. I think... Why does she look angry, dude? She looks upset. I think we've checked everywhere, Selena. You're right. Rats. Did you check under the sink? You look underneath the sink, nothing. It feels strangely cold underneath. Nothing. All right, let's see what Balak and Oleg have found. Reina, let's mosey out. I got every time they leave a room, they have to do it in like such an extravagant way. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what they're up to. Too much, I don't know what that is, Reina. You napping? What the heck? What's going on here? No, just staring at the clouds. Oh yeah? The drowning of Marzana is in a few minutes. Let's burn that witch and throw her in the river. I heard you're the one tasked with the burning. You know how to shoot an arrow that's on fire, Selena? Duh. 
You can bring the green branch to the villages here, Reyna. I got that witch. <laughs> All right, time to get up and get your head out of the clouds. Huh. You guys see I'm getting like the, all these achievements on the top right. Give me a lot of them. Selena takes you down to the river. Downstream is the witch, Marzana, made of straws and sticks. Her wooden raft won't catch fire easily. Have to aim for the body. Selena fires three flaming arrows oops, at Marzana's raft, but nothing connects. When you finally catch up to it, the effigy has fallen down into the river. What the heck are we doing over here? Hunting a witch, dude? A fake one? Help me fish this out, Reyna. The weight is surprisingly light. I thought it was a bad I thought it was bad to touch the effigy after trying to drown it. That's just an old superstition, Reyna. You ne need to burn it, then drown to complete the ritual. Gross. Marzana, Marzana, swim across the seas. Let all the flowers bloom and make the fields turn green. Whoa, what the heck are you two doing? Helping Marzana back on her feet, Oleg. She's light. Come help us get back get her back to the others. I'm not touching that. <laughs> Oleg. Oh, wow, man. This is so interesting to see the origins. Thankfully, none of the adults caught you messing around with the effigy. But while Oleg was yelling at you, it felt like you were being watched. Across the river, you see a strange man pretending to skip stones. His greasy hair shines in the sunlight. Some of the oils are smeared on his vest. He opens his mouth in an awkward smile, his teeth jagged and uneven. Walking away clumsily, he heads in the opposite direction of the festival. Right into the forest. Oh my god, I hate how you can right-click and it does that. You head over to the meetup with Bolek and Oleg. Ooh. Okay, team. Find anything? Just some old toys in a drawer. Really old toys. Bolek? I... I found his toy boat under the couch. Let me see that. Grandma made this boat for him. Razo was here. R razo The one and only. Could he still be alive here? Seeing him again would bring Grandma back from the brink. We have to find him. Agreed. Crew, we need to search this cabin top and bottom. Let's find Rosal and bring him back to Zakopane. You got it, Selena. Bolek, Oleg, come with me. Let's look around outside. Reyna, look around the cabin and try to find any clues to where Razel, Razel is. That psychopath could still be outside in the woods. If you hear any of us yell or scream, find us. Okay? Of course, Selena. Thanks. We'll be listening for you as well. I'll be fine. Crew, let's move out. And they go. Selena, Bullock, and Oleg, leave you to search the cabin. Leave me alone, dude? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. What's going on here? Who's there? Nothing replies back. It sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. You walk over to investigate. Oh, no. Hello? Oh, look at the kitchen drawer. It's open. Is it a mouse or something? That's got to be what it is. What do I do? Oh, what the heck? Is it speaking Spanish? <laughs> Wait. I don't know if that's... That could be... If you guys know what that is... Oh, my God. Look, there's something in the drawer, dude. There's something in the drawer. What's it saying? It's speaking in Spanish or something. I don't know. I don't know Spanish. I'm Puerto Rican, but I don't know Spanish. <laughs> I don't know what it's saying. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. Ha ha ha. Whatever that is. I have no idea what it's saying. A drawing is pushed out of the cabinet. This is terrifying. Dude, imagine like some demon shows up under your sink speaking in Spanish or something. Out of some other language you don't know. And so it gives you a drawing. What is that? Like someone in a cage and they see a door? Looks like someone used a piece of coal to draw this. Are these bars of a cage? Staring at a door. Hmm. You take the cage drawing with you. Ooh, so someone's caged up. Okay, speaking Spanish again. If you guys know what he's saying, comment it down below. Okay, I'd love I need to know what this says. I'm very interested. Or whatever he's, you know, whatever language that is. I'm just assuming it's Spanish, but I could be completely wrong. If I don't know how to read, then obviously I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, so what now? Selena? Oleg? Pollock? No reply. Oh no. Oh, it's them. Raina, we saw something weird down the hill. Looked like an old fence with bones all over the ground. It could have been animal skulls, but couldn't tell from that distance. Heard some weird whispering before we got back to the front door. Find anything? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Strange whispers coming out from under the kitchen sink. W whispers Was it a ghost, Rena? I'm not sure. 
I couldn't understand any of the words. Hmm. Ghost. Huh. Bollock attempts to lighten the mood a little bit. Got another of Razzle's jokes for you. What do ghosts like pouring over their food? Bollock. Give up? Grave E. <laughs> okay. Surprised I even laughed at that. It was probably just the creaking of the cabin, Raina. No, 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 no. Unless the cabin knows how to speak Spanish, I don't think it was, buddy. No such thing as ghosts. It seemed pretty real, Selena. Well, if you see it again, let me know. Oh my, I, I need to... Uh, why is that a thing? <laughs> they need to make that just like the escape key. Why is it right click? That fence outside was absolutely terrifying. We can't let our guard down here. Y yeah. Can, can we not split up anymore? I'm scared of getting separated now. Of course, Oleg. We're a team, and teams stick together through thick and thin. Rain or shine. Feast and famine. You're right, Selena. I just don't want to lose any of you, like Razzle. That won't happen. We're together, Oleg. Bullock, you're a night owl. You can stay guard while we sleep? Of course. Thanks, Bullock. Oleg and I will take the bedroom. You okay with the living room? Yeah. Thank you. Wake us up if you see or hear anything. You got it. Oh, I, I mean, you might want to warn him about that thing under the sink, dude. Oleg and Selena head to the bedroom, opening the door fully behind them. You lay down on the couch and quickly fall asleep. No, dude. It's gonna happen on the first night, or the, yeah, what is it, the second night? Something bad's gonna happen. You close your eyes but cannot stop thinking about the butcher of Zacopane. His third victim probably had it the worst. Stabbed in the stomach like the other two, but this one was different. The body was missing both ears, so investigators con investigators concluded it was a copycat to a series of grisly murders from years ago. What kind of person would take someone's ears? The victim's family and neighbors searched the scene, top to bottom, and the alleyway outside. All they could find was a broken window, and the butcher used oh the, that the butcher used to gain entry. It was a mystery that nobody in Zacopane could solve. So Selena, Oleg, Bollock, and you teamed up to find the killer. Selena was naturally the leader, plotting out vantage points on dusty maps her grandfather had. Bollock brought snacks and what he called emergency rations, which was usually crusty bread from his pocket. Oleg was able to get investigation tips from his grandmother, a former detective, but only after telling her it was to find Razzle. Your investigations lasted more than a year, often getting to crime scenes quicker than the town investigators. You have a strange dream. You've found the body early. So early the blood is still leaving the body. The greasy-haired man makes eye contact with you, wiping the knife on his vest. You look for a way to escape, but you're trapped in the alleyway. He slowly walks towards you, forcing a laugh that comes out in unnatural, staggering segments. As he gets closer, you notice his pupils are absolutely enormous. As he brings the knife up, his face peels apart by the lips, screeching in pained agony. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh, look, we got a little picture. They kind of look like Dr. Eggman or whatever. Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> kind of look like him. Wake up, everyone. Hold on, let me, let me go ahead and save real quick, because in case... Well, then again, I lost my previous saves. I don't know if that was because I reset my PC or what, but all right. Bollock, it's like 3 a.m. I heard something outside. Uh-oh. Was it one of the, those crows? They never shut up. It's him. Huh? Selena? It's him. What's the plan? Selena makes the group's secret hand signal. Only whispering is allowed now. Bollock, Oleg, eyes on the doors and windows. If he makes it inside, run out the front door or downstairs. Downstairs? What if there's less room down there? Then we need to manipulate the lights down there. Find the light bulb pulley, and when he gets close, turn off the lights. He's got that knife, so run for the front door when there's an opening. But what if there's... What if there isn't a working light down there? Our eyes can see better in the dark than him. We can run circles around him while he's blind down there. He doesn't stand a chance. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, Oleg. Bollock, can you outrun him? Of course. Reina, Reina, right, Reina, however you say her name. Do you see anything out the window? Oh boy, here we go. I don't see anything. The rain hasn't started yet, but you can see the storm clouds in the distance. Maybe it'll get too muddy for him? Unless he's coming through one of the windows. The window's glass is thick. If he tried to break it, everyone would hear it. Whomever built the cabin definitely was here for the long haul. Oh no, no, no. See anything, Reina? Nothing. While keeping watch, I found this in the bedroom. Here. What is it? A Colt 45? Okay, no, that works too. All right. I thought it was something to defend us, but that's fine. What the heck is this? What is that? What is that? Did Razzle make this? It had to have been him. When we found the body stuffed into the barrel, that creep saw us and ran. Who would do something like that? A monster. That's right, Reina. That was the last time we saw him. What's that noise? 
Oh boy. Get to the staircase now. As you run to the staircase, you see him standing by the front door. No, get this out of the way. He wipes his eyes with his sleeve, completely drenched from head to foot. He attempts a smile, but it looks completely out of character. You slow down your breathing, making it to the staircase safely. Ooh, that was a close one. We made it to the staircase at least, but what are we gonna do now? He's just gonna chase us up. Oh no, or chase us down. Selena takes out the basement key, locking the door behind you. There, that should slow him down. Marina, can you lead? Of course, Selena. Wow, he's determined. All right, we'll be right behind you. You begin your descent. Down we go into the basement. You guys remember this basement, right? Let's play Ghost in the Graveyard tonight. Wait, what? It's too dark out. What if one of those adults catch? Wait, are we back in time or are we playing Ghost and whatever with the killer right outside the door? I don't know. We're faster than them. Reyna, you can be you. You game to be the ghost first. Well, why me? Because your eyes can see in the dark the best. The perfect ghost. Selena. Sure, I'll go first. Hey, Oleg? Y yeah? You were slower than Bollock with a stomach full of herring last time. Pick up the pace this time. Ech, trust me, won't happen again. Nobody trusts you, Oleg. Everybody laughs. <laughs> ah, that silly little guy. You hide behind some equipment at the sawmill. It takes the group two hours to find you. By the time Selena yells ghost in the graveyard, you've already tagged both our Bollock and Oleg. Bollock? Ach, ech. You're too fast, Reyna. Nobody sneaks up on me. Nobody. Oh, it sounded kind of serious right there for a second. All right, so now we're back in where we were. Reyna, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Just remembering something. Bollock and Oleg went ahead. There's no time for this. We need to go. You snap out of it and begin your descent. Man, this got intense quick. He must be searching for the key. What an idiot. He must be furious to be causing that much damage. Oleg, you find a light switch down there? Y yes Get in position. We'll be right down. This staircase, dude. I don't trust it. That locked door is keeping him busy. That door is pretty old, though. Did you see the holes in it? He's coming down. Run! Oh, no. We need to go. Your eyes strain to see further down the staircase. You can't hear him. Ooh. Uh-oh. Marina? We have some someone special to introduce you to. Oh, we're back in time. Razzle, come on out. Don't be shy, Razzle. Reyna won't bite. Uh, uh, hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Reyna. I, 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 it's okay. Your cousin is great, is great, Bullock. Oops. Just wait, everyone. Give him a little time. He has the world's best puns. He memorized every single one Grandma told him. G -g -g Grandma bought me this book. Razzle, this is 500 pages long. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone laughs with Razzle, enjoying a nice meal together with Bollock's family. Razzle tells countless pun jokes. Bollock howls with laughter, and the adults shake their heads in agony. His joy is infectious, making Zakopane a better city for everyone. Except for one. Reyna, you're slowing down again. Selina, Razzle, what about him? I... I keep remembering him. I see. I... He... Crew, let's keep going. You continue downward. Oh man. Oh, what the heck? Hold on, I need to save. I, I didn't even mean to bring that up, but I might as well. What the heck is this? What? The light isn't working. Dude, is that a hole in the heck, dude? There's a staircase. No time to find a weapon in here. Let's keep going down. I can see a light further down the staircase. What the heck did we just find? This is wild. Your shoes stick to the floor at the bottom. You can barely make out the lights to the door on the right. East? There's three doors, north, south, and west. Selena tries the door to the north first. Locked. This room is tiny. How are we going to get around him? R -r 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 -r. Don't be scared. Let's try the doors and see if we can see if we can lock it from the inside. Which way, Arena? Uh, let's do the top one. Locked. Okay, east. You, Selena, and Bollock throw open the door, turning around to see him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, there he is. That's a big fella. Wait, who's the other? Oh, that's me. Okay. Leave us alone. You left the knives upstairs. It's four against one. Leave with your life. Ha <laughs> ha Say hi to Razzle for me. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Oh my God. What just... Did we get him? Or did they just get... I think they just got Selena. No, 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 no. Everyone's alive. What just happened? 
What on earth? I'm so confused. Huh? It. Why? You shut the drawer. We oh, their faces! It. Their faces changed. Uh, yes. What? They're being held back by their human emotions. They'll need a few months more at the very least. I'm in no rush. Let us leave. Now. You shut the drawer. What is going on, dude? I'd like to explore the cabin. See where those whispers are coming from. Can I leave the drawer? You nod. Thank you. Want to come with, Raspberry? I'm going nowhere with you. Ha! <laughs> poor, poor Raspberry. What is happening right now? Welcome! We've done a few annual Chompette comedy competitions since last time. Want to be the judge this year? Ignore them. I found some fascinating stuff by using the mouse holes. I need you to explain what the heck this is. What? You gonna pull out like a head? Oh. Whoa. Looks like a bunch of ghosts surrounding somebody. Were you fattening him up? Or were you scaring the heck out of him while you hesitated? You take the basement drawing with you. Hmm. I will never forgive you for this. You shut the drawer. It's time. Chompette, sound off. Never fear, Onion is here. Like my cousin Cornbread said, I'll rise to the occasion. Oh, look, their face changed again. Always Mary Raspberry. Look, their faces keep getting all creepy. Potato? P potato? You have nothing to give me now. Leave me alone. This is the only way to escape, Potato. We need to leave at the same time. I'm not leaving the cabin. Potato, please. Potato, we want to see... R no. Cabbage tries whispering, but you can clearly hear every word. They can release us. Just play along and maybe they'll pity us. Yeah? I'm not working with them. But, but, right now? I pity them. Just an old, disgusting, foul-smelling. That's enough. Potato's words cause a regression to stir inside of you. Keeping these intruders around might be entertaining for now. You slide the door closed, giving them time to stew on their thoughts. Ooh. It's getting intense, dude. Cooking Companions, Chumpet's Origins. Wait, that's the ending? What? So that's the Chumpet's Origins. What the heck, dude? I, there's got to be more than that, though. It's got to be. I, I got to try that other path that I could have taken. And also, you can talk to somebody else, right? And go a different route, which would potentially change things and give you other options, I think. So let's see, let's see what happens at the end of this. So this is basically like the halfway point in the video, because I think there's a lot more here. So if you haven't already, go grab your snacks, all right? And if you can't grab a snack right now, what would be your go-to snack? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like, what if you could grab a snack right now, depending on what time you're watching this, what would it be? But that was very interesting to see. I, I know there's other endings, though. This is the type of game that has, like, a million other endings, so... Oh, wait, I'm on there! What? Special thanks to Fusions... Dude! I'm actually on there! What the heck, dude? I'm right in the middle! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! What? Look, there's a bunch of people on here. Dude, that is so cool that they included all... And wait, you already said to me. <laughs> dude, I can't believe I'm in the game! That is so sick! Oh my god, that is awesome! Thank you, Cooking Companions. You have a strange nightmare. What's not over? Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy, wake up. I said, wake up. It's not over, dude, it's not over. Oh my God. The others are causing you to become weak. We need to get you back to normal. Less talking, less hesitation. Especially, especially if someone is trying to become stronger than you. That used to make you upset, right? I'm keeping an eye on you. You ask for how long? At this rate, never. You cough profusely, covering potato in a fine mist. You're beyond disgusting. So then, are you ready to fight back against the nightmares? Punish the spirits that have made your life a living heck? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let me save, let me save, let me save. Just, just in case, I don't know. Um, yes. Perfect. 
Let us give them no quarter. Close your eyes again, and let's begin the, tra the traverse. Oh, to traverse the abyss. You relax your muscles, getting ready for what's next. We're traversing the mist, dude. What is that? Have you guys ever seen the movie The Mist? If that's the same kind of mist we're about to traverse, I'm. Or I guess he said the abyss, but same thing. Welcome to nightmare mode. If you survive, you'll gain some additional insights to, to, wor to the world of Cooking Companions, as well as unlocking New Game Plus and a Chompets only event. This mode is mostly just a joke, so don't take it seriously. From the main menu, if you select New Game, you can immediately jump to this mode and other ones. Ooh, other ones. If you make it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompets Cabin Courses, a Chompet only event free of humans. For the true Cooking Companions experience, this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me close my shades. Here, Trunks, watch out. Trunks is laying like right underneath where the shade. Okay, I'm closing my shades right now. We're going full dark and I have headphones on already. Guys, do the same thing, okay? Turn off the lights. Let me know when you've done it. Let's begin. If you still need to max out your relationships, don't worry. You'll get the opportunity to do so in New Game Plus. You should really make a manual save right now. Don't hesitate. All right, let's do another one. Even though I already did one, let's do another one. Okay, the room is dark. Let's do this. Thank you for getting this far. Your bravery is commendable and will be rewarded. Thanks for playing, Dear Dream Studios. Oh. Almost forgot. Nightmare mode activated. Ooh, here we go. You wake up in the bathroom again. Oh, whoa, wait, what the? Wait, well, that was that face. This is my room. I've seen that face before in a different game. Do you see how dark it is? Oh, it's cold. But I can look at you. Look at me. Are you scared? Run, run, I'm pressing it. Dude, I can't run. I've seen this face before. From a, is this the creator of that game? I'm scared. You wake in a cold sweat. What is happening right now, dude? Your surroundings feel completely different. Sneak. Mar Mariah's presence is enraged. She's beckoning you to follow her. You get up and leave the bedroom. Ooh. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. What a fitting end to such a horrible nightmare. You head to the kitchen for some breakfast. Oh, yeah, that's fine. This will take ages to clean. Good job, yeah, what is she saying to me? You take a few bites of meat. You lose more of your humanity. You stare into the ash pile in the oven. Are they still upset? You head back to the bedroom to take a nap. Oh, wow. Which one of them is causing this? Mariah? Anatoly? Gregor? So we're back with the original crew. Oh, this is like, yeah, this is the house after it all went down. You crawl into bed and fall asleep. You have a strange dream. Day, who knows what day that is. Oh, boy. Day 616. Hmm. All right. Uh-oh. So it's the same. Yeah, we're seeing what happened. Whoa, what's this? Wait, what? Uh. No, that doesn't load. No. No, none of them are... Are we going to leave them soon? To leave... What? You nod. Perfect. He knows how to improve on your methods. I hope you share that knowledge with me. So we can outlive even the angriest of spirits. What the heck, dude? This is wild. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen? Karen is in here. It sounds like she's whittling something again. Did she escape the basement? Karen? No reply. You head over to investigate. She's definitely messing with something. Another trick by one of them. Who's still missing? Karen? Someone is tapping on the window. Who is it? Oh, look at his eyes. His eyes are like a mouth. Ugh. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Are you done, Anatoly? They're getting more bold in their actions. You head to bed to sleep on it. Day 616. What the heck? Oh, day 666. Uh-oh, the spooky day. That's not good. The four have returned to the first floor of the cabin. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen? Ugh, look at how she looks. She looks weird. Come with me to the living room. Don't argue. You crawl out of bed to face them. Oh, look who it is. The fellas. Welcome. We've been waiting all day. We be 
be sa satian? satiated? Oh, satiated by this opportunity. Would you like to start the ritual? What ritual? A ritual to manifest alternative possibilities. Mistakes. Wait, what? Oh, crap. I missed it. Regrets unrooted. Let the others depart earlier than me. Let me survive this time. This means join hands with us and form this pact. This ritual is unlike anything you've ever heard of. Agreeing to the pact could result in horrors worse than death. Anger channeled and linked is extremely dangerous. There might be no going back from this decision. Think carefully before making a decision. This might be a good time to save the game. Okay. Let's save right here. I like how they tell you when to save the game. It's actually very convenient. Have you made a decision? You nod. Save Mariah. Reject their offer. Let's save her. Wonderful. Take my hand. Take Karen's hand. You hold on to both of their hands, ice cold to the touch. You've chosen correctly. I'm proud of you. See you soon. Your breathing begins to slow. The frost collects on the windows. One of your eyes rolls backwards, causing you to drool a little bit on the floor. Oh. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh, what the heck is going on here, dude? Ugh. Something definitely went horribly wrong there. That, I don't think that was supposed to happen. And Atoli picks the shortest stick first, leaving the cabin. Then Gregor goes, then Karen. And Atoli, Gregor, Karen. Once the three are gone, it's just you alone with Mariah. Thank you for getting me through all of this. Or Maria, probably Mariah. Smiles, eating the meat, breaks most people, but not her. The storm clouds dissipate. The sun comes out again. I'm so happy the storm clouds have gone away. I, I couldn't have done this without you. Mariah's eyes widen, looking into yours. I, I want to stay here and take care of you. All my life, I've been looking for my true calling, and it was you all along. No need to ask me the question again. I am here 75% of my own free will, 65% by compulsion. She answered correctly. How did she know? I bet your arthritis is extremely bothersome. You want me to show you a special technique my grandma taught me to help with the pain? You nod. Great, sit down in the rocking chair and let me get to work. You sit down in your rocking chair, watching intently as Maria comes back with a towel and a bucket of water. I hope this is the start of a beautiful relationship. Close your eyes and relax. You close your eyes, smiling as Mariah gets closer to you. Oh! Mariah throws you to the ground, sinking the knife into your chest. She's evil, dude! How could you? Whoa. It's finally over. No more victims. No more grieving parents. Your reign of terror is over. You're slowly bleeding out, but it's taking longer than expected. I'm going to tell everyone in Zakopane about what happened here. Once all the remains are recovered, I'm burning this hut to the ground. You try to get out a few words, but one lung is completely collapsed. Don't talk. Your hearing begins to fade in and out as you're losing consciousness. Unlike... Oh my god. Unlike I'm talking, no chances. Going to watch you die in front of me. Then, your body finally gives out. A stain removed off the earth. A storm cloud lifts off every town. Hmm. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> What the heck, dude? So that's that path, right? And then there's probably the other path. After the events in T Tatris Mountains, Mariah embraces her destiny. The lessons of the cabin would break most people, but Mariah uses it to become a stronger person. After burying Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen, she worked with the Polish government to eventually return home to Ukraine. In April of 1945, Mariah is selected to attend a conference in San Francisco. She is picked over Dmitry Manulski to represent Ukraine at the first meeting of the United Nations. Elected to the first committee, she helped create the preamble and chapter one with the UN. Years later, she would go on to form a committee to investigate atypical beings. Using the cabin as a blueprint, countries around the world begin to document the numerous abnormalities impacting everything from death rates to food prices. The committee's investigations revealed that many historical events were swayed, either directly or indirectly, by these atypical beings. Mariah um, proved provided expert testimony for many of the trials that took place. The books and notes found in the cabin gave helpful insight for prosecu prosecutory e efforts around the world. I can't read, dude. <laughs> well, there's the cabin. When she reached 85 years old, Mariah became bedridden due to cancer. Surrounded by loved ones, she tells everyone in the room about the cabin. I miss them. Anatoly, Gregor, Karen. But I can leave this earth happy, 
knowing I shared their memories with all of you. I'm sure Gregor would be laughing right now. On March 15th, Mariah finally passed away due to complications. Surrounded by loved ones, her legacy is one of service and warmth. Cities became safe again, or become safe again. Children can explore freely. The world is now a better place from her actions. Wow. So we got like the good ending. Cooking companions. So yeah, yeah, that's gotta be like a really good ending, right? I'd assume so. Okay, dude. Come on, you gotta throw the the creepy whispering and the weird face. I had to get cursed in the last second of the game, really now. Alright, let's load it back up again. We gotta do the other option. Alright, so have you made a decision? You nod, reject their offer. You wasted this opportunity. Rot in heck. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie Daisy. Uh, I did a whoopsie. You've passed some sort of test. What if the what is the right decision though? You crawl back into bed, still shaken from the experience. I think they put it instead of is back there, but whatever. The sheets are drenched in sweat. You catch something moving out of the corner of your eye. You roll out of bed to see what it is. Hmm. It feels like 3 a.m. Nothing is moving around the bedroom anymore. Just your imagination again. You head to the basement door. Oh no, not the basement. Is Karen still alive? A cold wind blows through the crack in the door. Oh, she is! You wake in a cold sweat. Yeah, why, why are we still in this house? Why don't we leave the house? You wake up on the cold bathroom floor. The door is locked. Did one of them hide the key in here? Hmm. Where do you want to check first? Oh boy, in the garbage can under the sink. You check the garbage can underneath the sink. It's empty, like your soul. Inside the mouse hole. The mouse hole seems perfectly rounded, like someone used sandpaper on the edges. Did the chompettes do this? Under the tub. Mouse poops and dust have gathered underneath the tub. This needs to be swept. Look into the mirror. You get ready to look at your reflection in the mirror. Nah. Wait, so then... In the garbage, what else is there? That's all there is. You look, a gigantic spider back. Oh yeah, you can do multiple times. Disgusting. I forgot, you can look into areas multiple times. There's nothing of no underneath the sink. Why aren't towels under here? Okay, let's do inside the mouse hole again. The hole itself is pitch black. Would the flashlight be helpful? It might aggravate whatever horror lies in wait. Let's do it again. Stick your arm in the mouse hole? Yes. You slowly put your entire arm into the mouse hole and feel around. You feel the chilly presence of something behind you. The key is pushed into your hand. You pull your arm out, lifting up the toilet seat to take a celebratory bathroom break. Your hands are shaking uncontrollably from the, uh, from the whisper. The key has fallen into the toilet. Reach into the filthy toilet to get the key? I mean, you have to. This is the only way to get out of the bathroom. You plunge your hand into the toilet, grasping blindly for the key. It must have gone down the pipe. Oh, wow. Yes, you really put your hand into a filthy, backed-up toilet, huh? This seems to be a new low for you. Are you finally going to wash your hands now? The sink isn't working. Oh, wow. Will the bacteria be the thing that does you in? Such a pathetic end for such a terrible life. Huh. The key wasn't even... Oh. The key wasn't even for the bathroom door. That was the key to the Chompette's treasure box. Ooh, what's that? The Chompette's treasure box. You really stepped in it this time. Huh. Cabbage told me I had to rescue you from this. I wanted to let you starve to death in here, but she insisted. Here you go. Raspberry unlocked the bathroom door. This is the last favor you'll get from me. Goodbye, wretch. Man, they really hate me. You let out a deep breath and exit the bathroom. That's right, we're out of there, baby! It's time to end this. You open the door and get ready for what's next. Ooh, not the stairs again, dude. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. It's not just a staircase, though. The spirits aren't active right now. You continue downward. <laughs> are you sure they're not active, dude? They sound pretty active. I don't know. The walls down here, they're... The walls down here, they're dirt and soot. Or soot. It's nothing. You keep moving downward. The air pressure down here feels greater. You're getting closer to Karen with each step. Something is approaching. What is it? Oh boy. A false alarm. Are there spirits below? Are there are the spirits below going to trap spring a trap on you? You continue downwards. You hear something in the distance. 
And there's a bunch of red stuff on the walls, so that's good, you know? Is that a baby? What the heck happened down here? Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. There's a face. It's the thing again. What is that? The Spanish creature. Uh-huh. You shake your head. Oh. Uh, what is it saying? I don't know what it's saying. <laughs> Here's a, like I said, let me know in the comment section down below what this thing is saying. Because I got to know, dude. It's got to be saying something horrifying, like uh, the baby needs to be fed. You hold your breath and continue downward. Oh boy, dude. Well, something is approaching. What is it? What is that? A little doll? Oh! What the heck was that? What was that? This game is purely fictitious. It cannot harm you in any way, shape, or form. Okay, now we got a bunch of other languages. When you regain consciousness, you're, you're further down the staircase. You awake with a note next to your head. It's difficult to read, but you can make out a sentence. Hmm. Don't get up before- What that- Dang it! I actually- You take the Saturday note with you. Taking notes, one out of five, okay. The sound of rain is completely stopped down here. Your eyes are strained down here. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. You continue downwards. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. You navigate the basement blindly until you reach the room with four directions. You can barely make out the outlines of door frames in each direction. Which way should you go? Crap, wait, does this matter? I'm gonna save just in case. Uh, save. Okay. Uh, let's do north. Once you open the northern door, a cold wind blows over you. This area reminds you of an underground cave. You can make out a door at the end of this hallway. Ooh. You have a bad feeling about opening it, though. Open it? Yes. Oh, you wake in a cold sweat. You're at the four doors, doorways again. Alright, uh, south. This room feels warmer when you enter. You begin sweating more than normal. There's a door at the end of this hallway, but it's so hot, you feel like you're going to pass out. You slowly open the door, a crack, a crack, and peer inside. Vines cover the entire ground. <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? You wake in a cold sweat. You're lying in the middle of the four directions. Which way do you want to go? Okay, east. Your hands run across a large door. Maybe now isn't the time for this. You walk back to the basement steps, trying to remember why you came this far. Found you. Oh, look who it is. Oh, let's end this. Okay, hold on. I need to save if we're going to do some kind of fight that I could potentially lose. All right, let's do this. Oh, we got to battle it out, dude. Battle it out to the death. Oh, she already lost. Yikes. Yikes. You got destroyed. You are getting demolished right now. By the way, that is not a stabbing at her, YouTube. That is not what's happening right there. What's actually happening there is uh, we're cutting into a bag of... Jelly. That's what was going on there. There was no- that was not a person. Uh, that's for YouTube though, okay? Just in case they see this, that was a bag of jelly. Karen escapes down the hallway, leaving a trail of... Jelly... behind her. She's... carrying the bag that we just stabbed. You follow her to the room in the east. Ooh. Oh boy, she's back. Turn on... the light. Reap what you have sown. Mariah. Anatoly. Gregor, Karen, I'll never forget you. The nightmare is over. I got the achievement. Oh, I think we did it. Cooking companions. I think that's it, dude. I mean, obviously, I think there's other endings and stuff like that. But what the? Dude, there's someone singing. <laughs> Nothing bad can happen. Yeah, dude, everything's totally great and fine and nothing bad is gonna happen dude perfect what? <laughs> i cannot believe this is an actual like full-on song <laughs> why did they make this i love it dude i love that they did though it's so random oh my gosh i love how this is the ending so, did we get, like, the good I mean, I think we got the good ending with the lady passing away, um, and then, you know, the, we, we went to the government, got them, you know, to help us out with everything, and, and we, like, solved the problem. I think this is more of, like, the bad ending, right? I don't know. But they said if you complete the- oh. Yeah, they said after you complete it, you got, like, another thing. Is this it? 
Chompette's Cabin Courses, starring cabbage, onion, raspberry, bread, potato. Ooh, what's going on here? So we're back again. Oh boy, not these guys, dude. Not the vegetables and fruits and whatever. Hello! Welcome to Chompette's Cabin Courses. We missed school too much, so we wanted to bring it back. Honest, I'll be playing the role of teacher today. You can call me Miss Cabbage if you like. Let's just roll with it, all right? Haha, <laughs> can't wait to learn some new things today. Me too. Aren't you excited, Potato? I dropped out of grade school so I could work at the butcher. <laughs> That's extremely depressing. Explains everything so far. Is he quiet because he doesn't want to sound held back? You three are terrible at whispering. They never learn their inside voices, Potato. <laughs> cabbage looks looks you right in the eyes. There's there's no dumb questions or wrong answers today. The Chompette's cabin courses are de are designed to let you passively learn. Your brain is porridge right now, right? These courses will perfect will be perfect for that. That's correct, Onion. And the best part? No silly humans to interrupt anything. You ask about dead humans. <laughs> ghosts aren't real silly. You ask about. That's enough. No questions about ghosts today. Save it for a practicing. Save it for a practicing medium, Stinky. Got a got a cornbread classic for you. What's a ghost's favorite food? Booberry. You need to get a. You need to get bread a joke book. These puns are pathetic. <laughs> Let the learning begin. You decide to listen to the chompettes. Although you have the feeling something else is at play. For the first lesson, let's talk about that nasty oven. One of us was baked into a crust. Oh, you threw half you threw half of it away without hesitation. Human life is completely disposable to you. That's enough. I seem to have lost my place in the teaching curriculum. Ooh, let's talk about the cauldron instead. The first cauldron discovered dates back to the Bronze Age, which took place 3100 BC to 300 BC. You can see a cauldron in the famous artwork, The Garden of Earthly Delights where a bird man is wearing one like a crown as he eats and poops people down into a... What? As, did I read that? Hold on, let me read that again. Where a bird man is wearing one like a crown as he eats and poops people down into the heck hole below. <laughs> Yikes! Wouldn't want to fall into a heck hole. Most of us were placed in, the, in this cauldron, stewing for a day straight. The smell was so foul. Clung to all linens in the cabin. Absolutely revolting. Yeah. Raspberry, need to speak with you for a minute in private. The two awkwardly leave the, for the bedroom, slamming the door behind them. How do they slam the door with no arms? You can hear cabbage chewing out raspberry. Uh, what was another name for Brussels sprouts? <laughs> cabbage Patch Kids. Right, that wasn't even a pun. Or a joke. It was more like a stalling. <laughs> cabbage and raspberry join the group again. Raspberry, is there something you'd like to say? There is cabbage. You've committed crimes against humanity. You're a scourge on this earth, sent to punish us. Cabbage may forgive you, but I never will. Ooh, okay. Wow, look at the time. This concludes the Chompette's cabin courses. Did you learn anything this time? Or did you just loaf around? Haha. <laughs> Are you remembering it yet? Just join me in the boiling water sometime. It really loosens the meat off those old bones. Right in that nasty oven. There's nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. Have you seen that knife? Yikes. Big enough to cleave cabbage in two. Oh, still leftovers in here. Dig in. The rules are different for people that die in the cabin. Everyone that does will know the kitchen well. The lucky ones are dead when cooked. The others? The others have told us what you did to them. How many ge generations died brutally at your hands before you gave up? Was it your arthritis that stopped you, or did you eventually feel remorse? That's enough. Ooh. Thanks for playing along today. It was fun to revisit some old topics. Let's sleep on some of this, shall we? We've made your bed. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Okay, so that was... I think that was like the bonus content that they were talking about. It just kind of put us right into it, but... There's so many endings in this game, dude. Like, a, we got another ending. That's kind of crazy. So, let's see what happens at the end of this. I don't think you... Can you skip this? Oh, yeah, you can. So, did we do it? Is that everything? Welcome to New Game Plus. This playthrough will have different dialogue, events, and decisions to make. Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen will start with three hearts each. Use the opportunity to max out your relationships. 
I highly recommend you create a manual save file right now for this shorter, for this shorter playthrough. It's shorter. Wait, what? So is this different? Unfortunately, Mariah will not be able to max. Sorry. Thank you for playing Cooking Companions. We hope you enjoyed the experience. Oh, almost forgot. Jump scare mode activated. Just kidding. Dear Dream Studios. You can feel someone approaching. Wake up. I said, wake up. Wait, so is this the original game? But I can't keep pretending anymore. Always Mary. How could I be? I was the last to die. You try to reply, but instead have a coughing fit. Cough harder. I can see your jugular vein pumping. Pick your last words carefully. Uh, I don't find fruit intimidating. I'm sorry, Rena. Yeah? I don't believe you. Prove it by getting rid of potato. Do that or even. Getting rid of potato might be a fatal decision. Reyna has bluffed before. Well, is potato leaving the cabin? Yes. Fantastic. Follow through with this commitment and be social with others. Don't slide back into old habits. Dude, what is going on? I can't tell if I beat the DLC and I'm back on the old, the original game or, or what's happening. Mariah, Karen, Anatoly, Gregor, I'll keep us alive. I promise. This is new. So everyone watches as Mariah leaves the cabin. The silence is deafening. What? Dude, what is happening right now? We're in like... Oh, so this is New Game Plus, but I thought it would be like the original, but just with new dialogue and new stuff. But this is like an entirely... It's the original game, but different. After the three go to bed, you finally have an opportunity to use the bathroom. <sighs> the candle blew out. You grasp blindly along the floor until you find a flashlight in the corner. Not this again. Wait, I remember this. What is happening, dude? Where is it? I don't see anything. This bathtub is filthy. It will need more than a little elbow grease to get these stains out. Hmm? You notice a note underneath the bathtub. May 4th, 1794. This notice shall serve as a summons to the Zacopane Courthouse. You are being accused of the following crimes. Public disturbance, foul language and demeanor, refusal to testify at previous court cases, refusal to agree to a search warrant of property. Your hearing is scheduled for October 20th. Failure to attend will result in your immediate arrest and penalties up to hanging. Sincerely, Judge that person. You take the court summons letter with you. Ooh, so we were summoned to court. I take it we did not show up. All right, so is there anything else in here that we can do? I'm clicking on stuff and we're not really... Oh, what's this? Someone forgot to restock the toilet paper. Beyond disgusting. This is truly the scariest thing you've ever seen. With your interest waning, you decide to leave the bathroom. Oh boy. Time to surprise the others. You take out a cutlet of meat and begin to cook it in the oven. Yeah, but whose meat? Why is it shaking like that? You cooked meat. Oh no. Where did you get that? You ignore Karen's question. What's that smell? Gregor finally gets off the couch. Where did you... The three are looking at you salivating. You took the charred meat out of the oven. So this is definitely back to the original game. They immediately grab some off the plate, chewing ferociously. Do you have any more of this? You explain how the meat is stored securely hidden so you can ration better this time. I understand. Thank you. So everyone... Yeah, this is back to the original game, but it's going to be different. And Tully runs to the bathroom, puking in the toilet. You can hear him sobbing for a few minutes. This, this taste is... Gregor wanders off, and Anatoly returns looking choked up. I, I left you some of the meat. Don't fight this, Anatoly. Mmm. Anatoly takes a cutlet from the plate, turning his back to the group as he devours it. You can hear him crying. Finally, my focus is coming back. I'm going to read some of those books. Keep them occupied, okay? Karen leaves you with the men. Who do you want to talk to? Uh, let's talk with Gregor in the bedroom. So... It's New Game Plus, but it puts us at, like, the end of the game with new stuff. Hey, thanks for cooking the meat earlier. I was nearly passing out from the hunger pains. Even if I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy, I appreciate the vegetarian dishes you made earlier. You really respected Mariah's boundaries. Thank you. Gregor is more dense than you gave him credit for. Huh. If there's extras, slip me some extra meat. Okay? Gregor will remember that. Dang, so he wants extra meat. You're right. Okay, so, yeah, he doesn't care what he's eating, dude. He's like, yeah, bro, I'm starving. Uh, give me the human meat, all right? Going to see how Anatoly is doing. Later. 
You have the bedroom all to yourself. Where do you want to check first? Uh, under the beds. You look underneath both of the beds. Just some dust and hair. Gross. The floorboard. You notice a bone sticking out. Is it a human bone? Nope. Chicken bone. Gross. Inside the nightstand. The drawer has various children's toys in it. What's this? Ooh. June 26th, 1862. Another body of a child has been discovered within the city of Zacopane. This is like 100 years later, I think. With the remains stuffed into a barrel full of potatoes. The cause of death was identical to earlier victims. With significant blood loss due to multiple wounds to the stomach. This marks the fourth victim by the butcher of Zacopane in less than a month. Oh, so this is the guy stuffed into the barrel. Wasn't that, um, the guy from the start? You take the bloody newspaper with you. Unless they're doing, like, multiple bodies in barrels, but I don't know. Oh, look, there's a face in the, under the cabinet. Hours passed. The meal gave everyone the, pers the perseverance to keep going. The hunger is now permanent within them. The face disappeared at the bottom. They're fine now, but soon they'll be begging for more. So this is the part that we've seen before. Okay, this isn't anything new. Uh, we've been waited long enough. What's for dinner? So this is kind of stuff we've already seen, so I'm going to kind of, like, skip through it. But uh, I understand. I guess it's rather we eat tomorrow than more today. No argument's perfect. Okay. So yeah, this is stuff that we played in the original playthrough. Everyone decides to call it an early night. You fall asleep instantly tonight. So I'm going to kind of like speed read this just so we can get to the crazy new stuff. You have a strange dream. The river seems to be on fire, glowing early in the early morning night. A man on a horseback is staring at you from the other side, blowing his nose into a handkerchief. Wait, wasn't that the killer? A rickety bridge is the only way to reach him, so you decide to start crossing it. The bridge immediately sinks with your weight, causing the rotting wood of the post to, to crack. The wind pushes the bridge from side to side, the frayed ropes creaking with each gust. As you reach the center, the man on horseback oops, smiles at you. Raising the hand with a handkerchief, he brings it down in a violent motion, causing the bridge to disappear beneath your feet. As you fall into the river of flame, you can see the man on horseback galloping away. You wake in a cold sweat. So is that like at the start of the DLC, where we saw the guy across, remember, and he was like fishing or whatever, and he had like the big pupils? Is that the same person, but like a different version of him? I don't know. Let's see. You wake up to see Gregor looking out the window. He turns to you, not smiling. Take a, take a look out the window. Do you notice anything? The floodwaters have receded a little bit, but everyone's still bound to the cabin. Yeah, this is what we've seen. The, the trail used to be completely visible. Now it's gone. We've seen all of this. Good morning. Ew, look at his face. Good morning, big guy. I think we should have another piece of meat for breakfast. It's what we should have. Oh my god, I hate how that's... It's what she would have wanted. Ugh. I think he's right. Please, bring us more of that meat. You grab some of the meat from your secret hiding place. You cut it into squares, adding it to the boiling cauldron water. It'll taste bland without any seasoning, but you need to serve it up right away. Hmm. What's taking so long? Boil it faster. It's. It looks almost done. Patience. It's finally finished. You serve the meat in bowls. Ugh. Gregor drinks the broth first. Gregor drinks... Wait, what? How'd I go back? The broth first before swallowing the chunks whole. Like a duck does when eating bread. And it totally creates ripples in the broth using the spoon. He isn't eating. I'm sorry about earlier, everyone. I... I don't know what overtook me. Mar Mar Maria. And it totally begins to weep. You look over at Karen. You didn't even notice her start to eat. There's just an empty bowl now. Holy... Uh-oh, they're upset. Karen is staring right at you. How much more meat is left? You explain how most of it has gone bad. Yeah, we've seen this. How could he be so? Yeah, you remember Karen's life. You need to think fast. What the heck are we going to... What are, what are we supposed to do now? Wait around again? This storm is an ending. You clear your throat. Anatoly? Yes. I think tomorrow you should look for Maria. Or forage for plants outside. So this is what we see. Yeah, where they go out. He goes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they don't want him to go. He's still accepted. She doesn't need anyone's help. But we need your help. That's right. Please help us. Let me sleep on it, okay? No problem, little guy. Hmm. So yeah, I mean that kind of that kind of sucks. Like you know you're gonna get eaten. Everyone shuffles off to their rooms, heading or reading books and knitting to pass the time. You go to the bed, ravenous. Maria, something is approaching. So this should be new, I think. We seem to have like new parts in between. Time to wake up. You ask Potato where the chompettes are. Cabbage, onion, raspberry, and bread. They've moved on. Just us now. Oh, I got an achievement. I think we're alone now. The way it's always should have been. Hmm. They're just me and Potato. Your mind finally manages to forget everything that happened. You fall asleep again, still ravenous. Day nine. So we have quite a bit to go, though, because we still have to get rid of him and then the other the other guy, and then it's just me and the girl. 
You have a strange dream. You're walking down the steps when you trip and fall. You snap every bone on the way down, landing in the basement as a writhing pile of flesh and bones. The whispers surround you, their laughter ringing in your ears. You wake in a cold sweat. Something smells terrible in the living room. And Anatoly totally puked in one of the corners. Oops. You leave it there so the others will question his fortitude. Good morning. Good morning, little guy. Well, Anatoly, totally, what's your decision? I barely slept last night. Her whispers came through one of the holes in the floor. She kept telling me to come outside. Hmm. We don't want to rush you. But one of us puked last night. So that's what that smell was. Anatoly's totally playing dumb for the group. Anatoly, my patience is wearing thin. You have one hour to make a decision. What? Why so quickly? Hmm. Because I'm not waiting any longer. You can see the glint of Karen's knife under her dress. Best to watch out for that knife. Oh boy. The group disperses. Tensions seem to be rising. You have one hour to kill. What do you want to do? Um. I can. Oh, what? Oh, you can rewind. Oh, I never realized. Look, that's how I did that. You can rewind with the mouse button. Whoa. I didn't know that. It's like, is, is that something they even mentioned? <laughs> it's a really useful feature. Hi. Keep this between us. I'm not giving Anatoly a choice today. He's going outside. Do I make myself clear? Anatoly's an adult who can make his own decisions. Let's just say yes. So I think this is what we've seen before. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just skip past all of this. Anatoly, have you made... Yeah, yeah. We know he's going to go out. He has to. Yeah, we've seen all of this. Oh, this is new. Wait, hold on. We can rewind. I know this, this wasn't easy, but it's for the best. Karen? Yes? I... Gregor looks at you expectantly. Do you want to say anything to Anatoly? You say nothing. Oh, my. Uh, I... Goodbye, Anatoly. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck, little guy. Okay, so this is what we've seen. See you soon. Yep, good night. Okay, so we got that achievement again. I thought... We must have gotten that before. I didn't tell him the truth. Gregor is getting choked up. I didn't tell him. Missing him already. That's pretty sad, dude. Gregor curls up on the couch for the night, turning his back to you. Like, you're, like, with all your best friends and you have to let them die and eat them. It's pretty horrible. You shut your eyes, quickly falling asleep. You hear a scraping from the floor. The red-haired woman won't let him live, will she? Too ravenous at this point. The more she consumes, the stronger she gets. At what cost? Huh. Sometimes staying silent works better. Just walk away and pretend you're innocent later. What a terrible perspective to ma a potato has provided. The Chompets never would have listened to this crap. Oh my god, dude. There's like a little gnat in here flying around. You fall asleep thinking about what Potato told you. Hmm. We have a strange dream. It's lying on the table in front of you. You take off the glasses first, partially cracked, and set them down next to the workbench. Working the saw, you wrap the cuts in an old newspaper. Some of it gets soggy immediately, so you begin drying the cuts with a towel before wrapping. Much better. You hear something approaching, so you clench a fist and get ready to strike whatever's coming for you. You wake in a cold sweat. I think that's new, too. I don't remember talking about that, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played the original, but... It's all, like, it's definitely, it's got pieces of old stuff, but then there's, like, new stuff throughout. Okay. You wake in a completely different place. Do you sleepwalk, or you found some meat? Okay, so I think this is what we've seen. Yeah, you cook it. Smells unique. What does that smell? Give it to me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We feed her. Okay. There's Gregor. Oh, God, already. Yep, he eats the food. You join them in a meal. Eat the meat. Okay, we'll be out. Ration it. I'm going to lie. Okay, so we've seen most of this. You tell Karen, after one bite, it just made me feel whole again. So we told her how we got the meat. Even with the nightmares, it's worth it. It took a few nights, but I fought back. And now it's all I can think about. I read the book on necropsy. I can't say that. The text is ancient, but the, di the diagrams are beautifully drawn. Very descriptive. How many years did it take you to perfect the craft? You tell her. Yeah, right. I used to tell Mariah that you weren't funny, but that's not true. Sorry about that. You've grown on me. Karen pauses deep in thought. Okay, so you know he can't swim. Okay, so... Karen hands you a vial of liquid. I think you know what needs to be done. This is a strong... Yeah, so this is where we knock him out, and then she cuts off his legs, and... Um... Yeah, let's just... Why don't you do it? Okay, so we've seen this. Let's do it. So, we have to... Knock him out, Gregor, now. Which we've seen this before. And we... Um, wait, so I can skip all this just by doing this? Wait. Oh, yeah, we did that. Oh, so you can only go backwards. You can't go forwards. Okay. I guess that makes sense. All right, so he swallows it, and then he's going to pass out, 
and then we're going to cut his legs off. You've seen this in the original. Um, but I, I really just want to see the new stuff. So that's why we're just skipping past all of this. Because I, I, there's obviously new stuff thrown in here. Okay, you fall asleep almost instantly. So this is day 11. Let's see, does anything happen here? It seems like we haven't really had anything too new in a little while, but... I like how we didn't even, like... We just cut off his legs. Like, that's so messed up. You were having a nightmare. Gregor is waiting for you. Ugh, her face is creepy. You get out of bed and follow Karen to the couch. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Gregor? He should be alive. Wait, what? I think he's trying to speak. What is it, Gregor? You tell Karen that Gregor has died. Wait, what? He hasn't spoiled yet. Let me show you the rest of him. So this is different. Karen shuffles over to the basement door, opening the lock with the knife. Wait. What? Oh, why wait until she's in the basement? Take back the knife and end her life. You explain how difficult it is to get blood out of wood. Your laziness is unbelievable. The minute those four entered the cabin, you should have taken out all of them. You're getting soft. You nursed a weakened butcher back to health. What if she ends up taking you out now? I brought you the key. When she goes downstairs, lock the door behind her with that deadbolt. Then let her rot. Okay, so we've seen this. This is where we lock her in. Where's Karen? When are you fixing this hole? You can feel her breathing coming through the crack at the, in the door. You lock the basement door. What the heck are you doing? Goodbye, Karen. Okay, so we've seen this. We lock her in the basement. She goes crazy. Uh, you know, she ends up. We eventually end up going down there to see if she's dead. I remember that, and then we fight her. But yeah, this is stuff that we've seen. But it's like thrown in with stuff that we had because he didn't die that fast last time. Mariah was correct. It's freezing over here. The frigid air swirls visibly in front of you. The basement noises have completely stopped. What do you want to do? Okay. Um, eat a meal. You decide to have a quick lunch at the table. She escaped. What the? You wake in a cold sweat. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, look at her face now. Creepy. You were having a nightmare. Oh, wow. The sheets are completely soaked. Are you wetting the bed? You feel underneath you. Gross. You must have broke a fever because the sweat is everywhere. Don't worry, we can wash them in the basement. Just unlock the door and we'll make a day of it. You're not that slow with laundry. Come with me. I have something to show you. Cautiously get up following Karen out of the bedroom. The, day, the basement door was already open. I'm hungry. Let's get something from the basement. You feel the cold presence of Karen behind you. Goodbye. Stop. Grab onto the railing. You do so, feeling a slight push on your back. You feel the presence leave. That was a close one. Karen will try everything in her power to kill you. Tread cautiously downstairs. Why are you helping me, Potato? Because I pity what you've become. You work your way down to the bottom of the stairs. Something is approaching. Here we go. Oh, look at her down there. Can you hear me? I've been down here the entire time. It's so good to see you again. There's plenty of bread down here. Why aren't you saying anything? I'll never forgive you for what you did. You put Anatoly through heck. You desecrated my corpse. You gave them that disgusting hunger. All of that is water under the bridge now. And Atoli's down here. Come have some bread with us. They always try things like this. Their anger, concentrated there, near their grave, leads to tricks and traps. You're not falling for this one. Why aren't you listening to me? There's bread down here, loaves of it. Fine. I won't stop you from finding the others down here. One piece of advice? Beware of Karen. She is beyond repair. Gregor will try to talk you out of reaching the room. Okay, I think we've seen this. Yeah, she'll rip your bones. We'll talk again. Okay, you go deeper into the abyss. The walls down here, they're... Okay, so this is the suit party, or the sut. Something is approaching. So is this going to be who I think it is? Because I think we've seen this part. It's hard to tell, like, what's new... Wait, what? Gregor? Glad I finally found you. The rain has stopped. Did you hear that knocking? Another trap. Yeah, yeah, we've seen... I think we've seen this. Cause I remember them setting the traps for us. And then we eventually fight her. But I honestly, I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I don't remember what's new and what's old. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, my gosh. Anatoly. Thought you'd still be fending off that glutton Gregor right now. You tell Anatoly about meeting with Gregor. Oh. I was going to try and see if you wanted to pick onions with me. Shake your head. Guess there's no fooling you, huh? You survived this long. And now you need to fend off Karen. Okay, so yeah. Then we eventually have to get to Karen. The Karen fight. But I'm wondering if there's anything, like, past that. But I don't know. The thing is, like, I can't exactly tell. 
Okay, yeah. Found you. Karen's grown stronger. Yep. She's lost in the abyss. Get the fighter. Yep. Okay, so this is what we've seen, I'm pretty sure. You shake your head. Someday maybe trumpets feel out. Okay. And then, yeah, I, I remember all of this for the most part. Like, parts of it. So I'm going to assume that we've seen this. Trumpets get into a position behind you. Ready for what's next. You feel around. Found you. Okay, so now we have the fight. Okay, so let's save here. Just in case. Let's end this. You let the knife drop to the floor, holding Karen in a loving embrace. All of your pain, sorrow, and regret vanishes into thin air. It was Karen all along. Your soulmate has finally been found. You create a new life together, devouring hundreds of men, women, and children. What the- how did this happen? Walls and governments are powerless to stop your wrath. All that oppose perish. You work together beautifully, making the world a terrible place for future generations. So this is new. One day, Karen becomes ill. She calls you over to her deathbed between gasps of air. Her eyes are filled with terror, but it lessens when she sees you. I- Karen tries to say your name, but can't get it out. I- I love you. You nod, crying softly as she tightly grips your hand in fear. Your tears fall on her dress as the last of Karen air leaves her lungs. Her hands slowly get, lets go of yours, dropping to her side. You take the knife and wrap her hands around it, putting it in the middle of her chest. Karen? Aww. It's kind of- this is the bad ending, I guess. <laughs> we got the good ending before, now we're getting the bad ending? I don't know, dude. What is happening? You were a true cooking companion. An achievement joke's on you. What the heck? <laughs> what is that? Is that the New Game Plus ending? I'll tell you a story, but do you promise not to laugh? I almost died when I was six. It was probably the coldest winter on record. My parents and I were snowed in. At first, they had enough wood. But that ran out. My father, before their wedding day, he chopped down one of the biggest trees in the forest. He spent months whittling it down, cutting the pieces carefully, measuring the armrests so they fit perfectly, sanding it down so not even a splinter could come out. He named it Mother's Chair. And every Saturday, he washed her feet while she sat in it, whistling a tune his grandmother taught him, laughing or looking deep into her eyes as he rubbed her ankles. It took him weeks of working on it in secret. He was hyperventilating while he dismantled it. Each heavy breath was a foggy cloud. His tears were, free were freezing to his cheeks. The fire only lasted two days, and later the frostbite turned his fingertips completely black. He cried almost as hard over his fingers as he did the chair. After a while, when the, when the food was running out, he began to search every inch of our cabin, but he finally found what he was looking for. A little mouse. Holding it, wiggling in his hands, must have been painful. Between wincing, he divided it in two. One piece for me and one for my mother. How's that for a big breakfast? His corpse was the first thing, was, was the first I ever saw that was frozen solid. Th thank you for listening. Oh my gosh, dude. What's going on over there? Cabin. Look, he's trying to speak. What the heck is that? And what is that? A radish? <laughs> Whatever they call. Don't be shy. Try again. Is that us? Like, what happened? Boy, boy, boy. Might take a few more days. Right. Welcome to the Chompettes, Turnip. It's a turnip. Good companions. New game plus. Okay, so we completed it. That was new game plus. You've unlocked Chompette Origins from the main menu. Just start a new game. Wait, but didn't we already do Chompette? What? Chompette Origins is what we did. Yeah. So we did Nightmare Mode, New Game Plus, and Chompin' Origins. I think we did everything new. Oh, look at that, guys. We did it. All right. Well, guys, I think there's probably more endings and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see them, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like, stuff like that. But that was Cooking Companions, the new update for the game. Overall, a lot of fun. Um, a lot here, too. A lot to do. I, I, and I think it's free, too. I think this update is. I didn't pay for it, so I'm assuming it's free. But, uh, yeah, that was cool, man. If you guys made it to the end of the video, drop a drop a comment down below of the heart emoji, all right? That'll be the secret word to see how many guys actually made it all the way to the end. I'll be hearting some comments I do. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.